Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a try on slash swatches slash overview of the brand new L'Oreal Pro Matte Glosses. Now the name kind of confuses you straight out of the gate. I Instagrammed a photo of these and then I hauled them and really just wanted to show you guys how they look on the lips because it's hard to describe what is a matte gloss? A name is confusing. Is it a gloss? Is it matte? Is it a liquid lipstick? It's a little bit like, hmm? was that? So we are gonna try them on and you can actually see what it is, how it applies, and I'm gonna share with you my pros and cons. These items right here, something that I really love is I'm actually attracted to 90% of the colors. Now I have eight out of the 10. I went to so many different drugstores trying my best to find all 10. The only two I didn't get were a vibrant red and more of a coral, but I did get most of them. And I have to say only two of them out of the eight that I have in front of me, I don't like on me. Um, that's pretty good. I always try to buy as many different shades as I can just so if I think like, ooh, that color is not for my skin tone, that still you can get an idea of how it swatches, what the color is, because drugstore makeup usually does not come with testers and it is a little bit scary going in and being like, is it the same color as what you see in the actual tube? Let me tell you a little bit about the formula. The scent is reminiscent of some type of a bubble gum. It is kind of sweet, but not cotton candy, vanilla-y sweet. It's more fruity, candy-ish sweet, but it doesn't, I can't decide if it's like grape, strawberry, or tropical. It's just kind of this weird, candy type of a scent. You don't really taste it when you lick your lips. It's not overpowering, but the nice thing is you don't open this up and smell like chemical madness. So I do appreciate that. Something I like about these a lot is the doe foot applicator. It has a little hole back here in the sponge tip, which is kind of a diamond shape. And it just allows enough product to kind of seep into the doe foot applicator so that you don't have to keep, you know, going back for more and back for more. And then this diamond shape does allow you to kind of get in those corners really easily, right? Like this. And on the kind of M shape Cupid's bow of your lips. So to apply these is a dream. I think every single liquid lipstick out there should have an applicator like this because it makes it so, so easy. It glides on. You don't have to go back for more because the formula spreads out really evenly, really even opaque coverage and pigmentation. A little goes a long way. You don't have to glop it on the lips and build it up. And I just think this is a really nice product. So let's go through. We will start with the one that I am holding. This is number 300, Blushing Ambition. This one I don't really like on me. I think it is a little bit of a brighter, cooler tone than I would like, but it is a pretty pink. And you know, it does have very nice coverage and even pigmentation, and it's not bad. The one that does not look good on me, let's just go there and get it out of the way. Number 302, Fuchsia Amnesia. I think I had amnesia putting this on because I never look good in this color no matter how hard I try. So this one is just like a neon pink. If you're into that, you would love this. The next one is called Rebel Rose, number 304. This is gorgeous. I actually love this color. Looking at it, I wouldn't get too excited just glancing at it in the tube, but once you apply it on, it is beautiful. I have to say something a little bit strange about these while we're going through the colors. And I had my mom try these as well, and she noticed the exact same thing. Your lips go kind of numb. It's not like a tingly, numb, minty, like plumping thing, but there is something in here that actually makes you feel like you almost put just like a dab of icy hot on your mouth. That sounds really scary. It's not that bad, but your lips go kind of oddly numb. It's weird. It is just a weird sensation. It does eventually go away, but just heads up about that. I'm feeling it right now. The next one that I have is number 310, Forbidden Kiss. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, could it be more perfect for this time of year? It is beautiful. These do wear for a very long time as well. They are not transfer proof like a lot of the liquid lipsticks, but they're gonna wear off evenly and not kind of crackle off. So I would rather have a formula like this than a liquid lipstick that is going to stay put and be transfer proof, but is going to wear off kind of in patches. Do you know what I mean? Moving on to number 312, Rouge Envy. Oh my goodness, again, I have a few nail colors that are like this. Gorgeous, deep, 
color that just makes me think of fall winter and I love this one. I want to say the reason I feel that they call these a matte gloss is because they have a matte appearance. Like when I'm glancing in the mirror, it is very matte, but when I rub my lips together, it legit feels like I have a gloss on. Like it feels very buttery. It feels very smooth. It feels like I can move it around, but it's not going to come off in patches or glop off. So it feels like I'm wearing a gloss. It's kind of trippy. The next one that I have is number 314 Nude Allure, and I really like this one as well. Like I said, all of these shades are super flattering, on trend, perfect for this time of year, and I feel like they're very universal and will look good on most skin tones. From there, we have number 316, Statement Nude. That is such an appropriate name for this shade because it is very neutral, nude, but it has kind of a deep depth and a punch to it. So it is a statement nude. I see myself reaching for this one a lot. I really love the way it looks. And the last one that I own is number 318, Bare Attraction. This of course was the first one I was drawn to because I am that person that sees a nude color and I'm like, yes that one as if i don't have enough nudes in my collection as is i know but it's just like a thing so this was actually the first shade that i tried on and i immediately loved it and i came home and i started trying on more and this was like a couple of weeks ago and i just quickly fell in love based on loving this color so much straight away if you are someone that is just drawn to your neutrals and you want to have something that's easy to wear that you don't have to fuss with, you don't have to overthink how you're gonna do your makeup and you want like a very everyday quick grab and go, this is the perfect color. And you still get that nice look of a matte lipstick, you're still very on trend, it's so this time of year, but you're not gonna dry your lips out because it feels like a gloss, it's just a wonderful product. So I am in love with this range, I would be so thrilled if they brought out even more colors and if I find the two that I'm missing, I am gonna grab them. Definitely check these out, they're around 10 bucks a piece. I picked mine up at Bed Bath & Beyond, that's where I saw them launch first. I haven't seen these in CVS yet. I just saw them in Walgreens, but the display was like very picked over the other day. So this has just launched. Keep your eyes open. If you spy this display, grab one. You won't be disappointed if you are looking for a matte, comfortable lipstick that is easy to apply and wear. And that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know that you like these swatch try-on videos by giving this one a thumbs up. Leave me comments below. I love you. I read everything. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.